How's it going everybody that's Raider Knight and today we're going to be playing as Wales. Uh, you've been asking for this forever. I was going to play as Brazil today. Uh, but uh, we're going to do Wales because everybody wants Wales in general for me to play it. And uh, it's not Age of Civilizations 2 yet but uh, it's good enough. And we're going to play it on extreme mode so uh, expect a, a lot of rage because this is not going to be uh, very easy. But let's try our best. Uh, so obviously we spawn here, and we just have to uh, get a good start, I guess. Uh, maybe we can take over all of this at once if we're lucky. I don't think so, though. Uh, okay, let's put some troops over here, and let's send them north. And just because I don't really want to waste uh, a lot of our troops, uh, I'm just going to uh, try to keep as many as I can. Uh, so we can uh, save up our cash. How much does it cost for a, a port? Okay, 4,000. Uh, I really need that port now, so I guess uh, I'm just going to build it and we're going to go over and claim Iceland. Uh, if we're lucky, maybe. Uh, let's build a port there too, just because why not. Uh, and let's send the troops to the north and let's not let them take over our country. Uh, let's send those troops this way. I'm going to build a, a port uh, in London if it's uh, possible uh, because we definitely need to uh, hurry fast and take over uh, some land. So I'm going to build a big navy again. This is going to be not very easy, but we have to, we have to move quickly. I've done this a couple times, so I know uh, what steps I have to take to win. Uh, let's go over here, take that over. And let's take over all of France after that. So Iceland is ours, and we have a pretty good start. I'm pretty sure we're the strongest country. Or, well, we're not the strongest, but we're one of the strongest. Uh, so this is kind of where we have to really pick up the pace. Uh, the next couple turns really do decide the entire uh, outcome of the game. So we have to play smart and we have to make sure that we do not die essentially I'm gonna build some troops there because I do have a, a feeling we're going to get attacked and we're not uh, I want peace with them and I want to build troops here so we can uh, possibly make a an invasion and whoa why is Tunis invading Iceland of all of all places Tunis why would you invade Iceland um, uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that much, but uh, it's kind of unexpected. I didn't really see that coming. Uh, and we have a lot of troops on our border, so that is pretty spooky. I don't want these, uh, what are they called? I don't want these um, Netherland troops to take us over. So I'm trying to play smart, but there's not really a lot of things I can currently do at the moment. Did we lose Iceland? Okay, no we didn't. So we did defeat those uh, troops from Tunis, I think. Or not Tunis, um, what's it called? Uh, the Netherlands. We're still at peace with uh, Switzerland at the moment. Possibly a, 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 an alliance would work really well for us because I really don't want to get involved with uh, their issues in general because they have a, a very powerful country. Okay, we have a lot of troops. Let's get a packed up with... Uh, Portugal. Maybe we can get Portugal into the alliance. I'd be fine with that also. Uh, one of these countries need to join us or we're going to have some some, uh, some problems. Everybody's going for Iceland. I don't know why. So we have the Netherlands. Uh, let's build some troops and... Well, not build some troops. Let's just invade uh, Genoa. That's kind of where it all is. And... Build troops here. We're going to have actually a lot of troops uh, over here. That's good news. Portugal getting kind of close to us. That's a little bit worrying, but I think we'll be fine. And uh, Iceland is being invaded again for whatever reason. And this time it's by Greece, so I don't really know why all these countries are attacking us. I'm going to build a lot of troops because if you see down here, it looks like they're going to uh, make an invasion, so I don't want to risk it. Uh, let's look at our land right now. I say we just go into uh, Luxembourg because there's really no reason why we shouldn't take that over. And uh, just stay uh, like we are over there in Italy. 
build a lot of troops in Italy, and I think the next goal is going to be to take over all of Italy. This is spooky though, I don't know what Portugal is going to do. I really hope, again, I, if Portugal joins us, I'll be happy, but I really don't want them to uh, attack us at this current uh, moment, because I'm not really ready for it. And I don't really want to uh, lose. Because Portugal has a lot of troops over here. And they could definitely uh, impact our country pretty bad. Let's build troops and do whatever we can. So Greece is invading or somebody, I don't really know who. So, oh, Slovenia is uh, attacking for whatever reason. Uh, and please tell me, uh, Portugal, okay, they, they did a, a pact with us, but I'm pretty sure uh, Switzerland is going to go to war with us at any moment. Uh, we could go into Bosnia, and I think that'd be alright. We could get a peace treaty with Slovenia also, but I don't really think we need to at the moment. Uh, I say we build troops here, take over whatever we can, and that'll be the turn. Hopefully all the battles we have in Iceland will slow down because I'm kind of annoyed by it. Let's end the war with uh, Slovenia. I'm kind of just tired of it, to be completely honest. I want to get rid of uh, Italy because we already have Italy's capital, so I'm pretty sure we should be fine in that regard. And I want to do something a little bit sneaky. I want to take over... Uh, all this land while they're not really paying attention because uh, that's a, a big gain that we could get from all that see how that goes that went really well I'm not even gonna lie that was a really good turn for us again this is extreme mode so it could all turn at any moment but I believe at the moment we are the strongest country I think Sweden uh, and Georgia and possibly Portugal are going to be some of our biggest threats moving forward. So uh, we have to be we have to be ready, but we also have to uh, play smart because I do know that uh, the more we expand, the more we uh, run into the risk of a two-front war, which we do not want at all. And we are a pretty big country. But yeah, in this game, two front wars essentially mean you're doomed because uh, extreme mode is kind of difficult to manage uh, those type of battles. So I'm going to get a lot of troops here. I really need to win this battle for this front, and we're going to hopefully push back Switzerland. Uh, I'm surprised that they've managed to actually push us back pretty well. A peace treaty with Portugal, or a pact with Portugal, whatever you want to call it, uh, Switzerland is about done for. The, I kind of want to get a peace up with this, these guys. Uh, possibly we can get peace with Bosnia also. Because I would like to go over here and take over this stuff. And I'd like to also uh, not really have to deal with anybody else at the moment. Uh, let's build that tr the, uh, the troops there and let's take over this. And I want to... Again, I don't know if I want to attack yet, but I'm going... Oh, crap. Actually, that is the... That's Portugal. Uh, so we actually declared war on Portugal. Oopsie. Uh, that's fine, though. We'll be fine. Build a lot of troops up here. Take over whatever we can. Make sure that Switzerland is defended. Send the troops. Take over all that if we can. Uh, and then we can possibly storm to the south. And that did not go to plan at all. Well, let's get rid of these Portuguese troops. Uh, make sure that they don't uh, go north. And that we can uh, take down uh, Portugal. Uh, in the future. So I want to... I also want to set up our border so we have a... Somewhat of a defensive so we don't completely uh, collapse. Okay, I just wanted to really set us up for victory over here so we don't have a, a two-front war to deal with. Uh, we have to build troops up here in the north. And I didn't really realize how many they had here, but they have a lot. So let's get rid of that and let's uh, try to make sure that they don't take that over while defending our border. Yeah, that was a good turn. Uh, we're going to win, so... 
Should we just uh, go into another battle already? I think I kind of want to, but I don't really want to... Let's, uh, let's wait a little bit. I don't want to risk it. Uh, let's take over whatever this country is, and uh, then we're going to uh, make our next plan of invading Africa. So let's take uh, all of this territory over in the north. Uh, and yeah, that's looking pretty good. Take over this as well. Uh, we have an 80,000 stack right here. I'm going to move that forward. And I'm going to fortify the border in the south. I don't really want to make a, an expansion yet. And they actually managed to take over some of our... Oh, no, no they didn't. Okay. Uh, never mind. But uh, we're going to fortify our border. We need to build a lot of troops to make sure that this does not uh, fall. We have a lot of uh, troops, though, at the moment, so we should be good. Yeah, we're looking good on our border. Uh, I'm not sure how quickly uh, Sweden... Uh, Sweden is uh, actually losing land. It's actually Georgia who is the, the new big threat on the block. So, uh, again, we're looking unstoppable. I don't think anybody can defeat us. Uh, a pretty good game, I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised we managed to actually get this far uh, that quickly. So, uh, take over all this. Take over that. Take over everything. We can make the push now because I have all of my troops on the border. This should be a swift victory in this area. And then we should have some... I don't know if we're going to have issues or it'll be a lot easier. I'm not sure. Again, anything can happen. I did. If you guys remember a long time ago, I played as America. And we were going to win. We were set to win. We had the majority of the land. But things can swap in a moment. Uh, it really depends on what country... Uh, gets big, so we have to make sure that uh, nobody gets powerful also while managing our own country in the process. So I'm going to try to play carefully. I know that things can switch in an instant and maybe uh, I should be watching for that. And again, I am going after some of the bigger countries at the moment, but uh, we can't really get to all of them uh, right now or we'd be uh, in some trouble. But uh, at, the, at current... Uh, at current glance of the map, we do look uh, like the most powerful. So uh, I'm hoping we can pull out the win. But Sweden is... Well, actually, Sweden is not as strong as I thought. Sweden, I was so scared of them, too, in this whole game. But they're really turning into, like, this... Uh, they're kind of a joke country right now. They're not doing that good. I mean, Russia is catching up to them, and... Kazakhstan, out of, I mean, out of nowhere, Kazakhstan is one to, to look at. They're like the, yeah, they're the, they're the third strongest country, so uh, I need to really watch uh, the map a lot uh, better. Because Kazakhstan is a war that uh, could be difficult. Possibly not the hardest, but it will be a challenge uh, nonetheless. And I don't want to get into war with everybody because I do know uh, that we can have a lot of issues uh by doing that, but I do want to kind of go after Georgia also at the moment. And we're going to try our best. I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, I want to build a lot of troops and hopefully uh, move into Africa because I do not want to deal with that anymore. And I think that'll be good for us. So uh, again, we're at war with Georgia, so let's just uh, invade. We got a lot of troops on our border, but we have to make sure that uh, we sh we have to keep up our border. As you can see, our population is low, and population is actually one of the most important things about this game. Uh, if we do not manage our population, we could have a lot of problems like this. Uh, that is scary. Like, this is really scary. And we have no uh, way to, to uh, defend our land at the moment. Uh, do whatever we can. Let them invade. I don't really care. We're going to have to deal with it. This is scary though. I did not expect them to send this many troops out after us. Yeah, that'll be hard to that'll be hard to slow down. Okay, we are in a struggling situation now. Get it packed up. Kazakhstan is looking scary, guys. I know I said that things can switch in an instant. Kazakhstan is looking really scary. Georgia is looking really scary, and even Sweden not looking uh, 
Not looking as uh, scary as we thought, but they are definitely powerful. Can we just go into Sweden's capital and maybe just make something happen? I don't know. I really need to just build up a, a large troop number and uh, defend our border. This is a... okay, the southern border is literally going to get walked through. There's nothing down here defending anything. I need to build a, uh, an actual border, guys, at the moment. So we're going to try to do that. I need to refresh. I need to start over. Because what we're doing right now is not working. Okay, take over that. Take over this. And we're going to take over that also. Build a, a southern border. This is one of the most important things we have to do right now. Uh, I don't want them to take this over because that would be a disaster. Do anything we can with that southern border, but we can't do a lot at the moment. They took back uh, whatever that is. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Sweden's capital is whatever. At the moment, we can't do anything with it. See if we can take over these territories. I don't think we can, though. Just do whatever we can. Okay. What are we looking like? Well, we're, re we're rebuilding, but it's not looking good. I want to send these troops in and take that over. Again, guys, this southern border is looking bad. I don't know what we're going to do in this situation, but hopefully that does something. I don't know. Okay, nothing happened at all. We can get peace, but I don't know if we should or not. Kazakhstan, again, Kazakhstan is looking really good. Okay, we can move north now, that's the good news. And we can possibly uh, do a sneak attack or something, I don't know. Okay, use these troops and fortify... Oh my goodness, this is a... That is a scary looking stack of troops. Well, we have some population here, let's draft them all and take that over with everything we have. So, uh, move the troops down here also. And we forgot all about Africa, that's stupid of us. This is a, a struggling battle, I did not expect it to be uh, this hard. We are in a, a two-front war right now, and we are not moving, which is a, a bad thing to happen at the moment. We need to hope for a miracle, and we need to get lucky. Uh, and I really, I want to fortify this border, because I know it's not being attacked at the moment, but that's scary just to have that border uh, with no troops. I know that I shouldn't be really focusing too much on that right now, but... Uh, if Kazakhstan decided to attack us, it'd be game over. I don't know how we defend the border. And we're not looking good at the moment, as is. So I don't want to make a, a big mistake and let Kazakhstan uh, roll right over us. We're slowly uh, pushing back, I think, though. Uh, Georgia. We need to continue to build troops. Possibly do... I'm going to do something risky. We're gonna we're gonna do a sneak attack, and I really need to uh, catch them off guard, and we need to do something. I know the southern border is not looking good, but I I need to do something at the moment. Yeah, it's just uh, it's chaos. Uh, another pact with uh, Kazakhstan will be nice. Kazakhstan is actually losing territory to Sweden, and. Uh, Why, well, yes, that is scary. I'm not really too worried about that at the moment. Georgia is the, the main threat. Can we get a peace with Sweden? Honestly, Sweden must just be uh, allies or something. Because, uh, again, Georgia is a scary country, and I don't want to mess with that. Build as many troops as we can, and we need to invade everything. I'm going to make a big push uh, this turn. It's going to be risky, but I think it'll pay off. That was a really good turn. I think that really just showed Georgia that they're not going to win. 
Uh, yeah, Kazakhstan and Georgia are tied again. So we dodged a bullet. We did. We really did dodge a bullet right there. Uh, but we have to. We have to make sure that Georgia does not rebuild. We have to slow them down. We have to invade and do everything that we can to make sure that they do not expand anymore. Okay, well, we can't do anything there. Let's just go into these poor territories and do our best. We need new population uh, areas to rebuild our, our, our troop supply because we have nothing left over there. Uh, we took over all of Kazakhstan's main territory. They're just a small country now. Uh, Georgia has been defeated, and the only one who really has any power is Sweden. But I've already taken Sweden's capital, and we've already marched up through their land, and it's pretty much over for them. I'm just going to kind of slow it. I'm going to just defeat Sweden, and we're probably going to end it there. Uh, this game is a, a victory, and it's looking... Uh, pretty good. I think we've won uh, unless anything crazy happens, but uh, I think we've won again uh, Take over whatever little territory we can left. Uh, that'll be fine uh, And Sweden has been defeated. I think everybody has been defeated. So Sweden actually they actually took over a little bit of land. So uh, Maybe build up a little bit of troops or something uh, I don't really want to uh, completely let Sweden win, but I don't really care too much at this point. Uh, we've already won, so... Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Sweden took back their capital, but no, they didn't. Uh, so we've taken over Sweden. They have nothing really left to do. Uh, everybody has been defeated, essentially, and yeah. Easy victory. It's going to be over in the next couple of turns, so... Uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Easy victory again. Uh, this was actually kind of difficult at the start. Uh, I thought extreme mode would be a little bit harder, but uh, once we got France under control, which I think that was the hardest part was getting France under control and uh, watching out for Portugal when they were over here, but uh, we did pretty good and overall it turned out uh, well. So uh, I'll see you all in the next one and peace.